Tell us yeah. about how do you deal? How do you see the good when there's some really difficult things going on around us? Yeah, I think, I think we all grieve. I think we all have really bad things that do happen, but I think there is so much to still be grateful for. And I think by being grateful for what we do have in life, we're looking at God and saying, wow, thank you that you have provided these things in my life. Thank you that you've put me here and, and allowed me to be in this moment. And then by doing that, you're really giving him the authority to take control of, of whatever you're dealing with. And so, um, yeah, changing that mindset. Yeah. If there's a, uh, a, a letter that Paul wrote to, uh, another guy, uh, yeah. and he said it's second Peter one, three, and it says that God has given us everything that we need already to lead mm. beautiful lives. And so mm. for me, a trick kind of a hack is to take inventory of what he's given me right now. Uh, yeah. like I had a cell phone on me. I evidently yeah. had a locked spare tire on the truck, uh, <laughs> but he had also, I had my Google and I Googled guy that like unlocks locked yeah. spare tires. And, uh, and it, uh, to think instead of feeling stuck and you might be listening to this feeling really stuck, maybe find some people and surround you mm. with, uh, some, some good, just, a, a, a tap on the shoulder, a reminder about who you are. If you need yeah. a counselor, man, I've gotten a counselor and that's just been so good to just have somebody who's better at this stuff than me. Yeah. Um, and to say, yeah, I think what has worked for me is I, our mutual friend, Miles out, out at yeah. onsite is such a solid voice in my life mm. to just say, Hey, what if you were to do that. And he had says that with his big yeah. Southern drawl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me give that a try. So maybe yeah. find some safe people. If you want yeah. to see the good, are you uh, like exceptional at surrounding yourself with people who speak yeah. words of like life and perspective into you? How do you, totally. how would you describe navigating who you allow to be closest to you? Yeah, I think you do an, an entire inventory of the people that you're surrounded by as well as what you're consuming. And I think so often it's easy to have people around us that may actually be a negative force in our life that's pulling us away from God. And I think sometimes that needs to be shifted so that we get people in our life that actually bring us closer to God and then encourage us and speak life over us. And by doing that, by by checking the the circle that you associate with, and it, it's not easy all the time. It's, it's a bummer letting some friends go, but uh, surrounding yourself with the best people is the way that you're going to elevate your entire life, I think. Yeah. And it's not like always firing a friend. If you're listening yeah. and you've got some people that have been in your close circle of friends for a while, and then a couple things have happened that have become distractions or they're yeah. in their own journey or doing some things that have become a distraction for you. You might just air gap that relationship for a little bit, just go yep. a pause for a little bit, create a little gap of air between yep. you and that bring a, some people a little closer to meet the needs that you have. Uh, and yeah. then you go be the person in other people's lives that's yeah. pouring in to be that person that you've needed. Somebody to ask, not just like the first question, like, how are you? But right. the third question that might be like, what does it feel like to be you? Yeah.